Hello again, it's great to be with you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, we've been looking at a few passages from um, Matthew's Gospel recently. Uh, today we're going to have a look at another one from Matthew chapter 9. This is uh, verses 35 to 38. It says this. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. That's a great prayer for any of us to be praying, uh, and I, I urge you to do that. But it made me, this passage made me wonder a little bit. Um, have you ever felt harassed or helpless, like you could do with someone who could point you in the right direction and make sure you get to where you need to go safely. I guess most of us know that feeling of vulnerability uh, at some point in our lives. Sheep aren't equipped with much in the way of defences. Some, uh, uh, not all, but some have horns and a hard head and that's about the size of it. They're not barely able to outrun a, a predator and aren't exactly the scariest looking animals to look at. The shepherd's job, therefore, is to make sure the sheep have food and water and that they're protected from attacks. And yet, their vulnerability is still very apparent. When the shepherd isn't there, they're often aimless, vulnerable and a little bit helpless. I think the parallel between sheep and people is quite interesting. Matthew tells us that Jesus healed the sick and gave people direction. He stood in the place of the shepherd ensuring that they heard and saw the things that they needed to see and hear. He guided them, he taught them, he rescued them from the place of persecution and oppression when they needed that too. And I'm not talking about physical persecution here as much as I am spiritual. So much of what Jesus did was spiritually based. So, it makes me wonder, what's harassing you uh, at the moment? What What is it that's causing you uh, some kind of a, a, a oppression in your life at the moment? What is it that you need to be healed of or restored from? Now maybe the answer to those questions is nothing at all. Everything in life is fine and that's great. But maybe there are some areas where you need a shepherd's touch. If that's the case then I'd like you to pray with me as, as we do in a moment. If everything's great then perhaps you could pray for someone you know who's not doing so well. So let's do that now. Lord Jesus, you are our shepherd. You are our shepherd that we might not be in want. Grant us health and restoration, Lord. Um, bless us and comfort us in the presence of our enemies, as, as this, uh, Psalm 23 says. Lord, would you pour out your spirit upon us and bless us that we might know your presence and your peace. So, Lord, we ask that you'd... Uh, come today uh, through your Holy Spirit and we ask this in Jesus name. Amen. Have a great day.